So here's an interesting one. <laughs> Every time I find one CDU, I seem to find another one exactly the same. Uh, so again, 2001 RXDI, I went to check it out and uh, it was kind of weird because I'm like, it has a beautiful finish on it, but all the decals are different. I thought, I didn't realize that they had made so many. I knew they made a blue one and a yellow one, but I didn't realize that they had different finishes. But uh, on close inspection, I realized that the guy actually spent a ton of money and had the whole thing repainted. As you can see on the bracket here, it's got some overspray on it. And their reassembly was pretty poor. They painted everything. Like you can see under here, under the hood, they painted all the the uh, rubber moldings and everything, so that kind of sucked. Anyway, uh, I was looking over the machine and I better get a flashlight. Does, he had to do a little bit of uh, fiberglass work. And actually, it's working. So, as you can see, he forgot the brush in the bottom. So that's not a good thing. A little bit of fiberglass on the tank, I see. And I think down in the hull, I also saw, yeah, big pile of fiberglass there and there. And then I looked at the side and I thought, well, how can it be black with blue? So then I started it was dark in the barn where it was, so then once we got looking at it, I realized that it had been a blue sea dew. And just like this one. It was this one here. And he had redone it to change it to the yellow one. But even after refinishing, he still got some cracks in the hull. But the biggie is this mess under here. Check that out. I'd say that's a good one. And it goes all the way along to, you can see under there. <laughs> he said it just bumped off the trailer. I don't know if he meant it fell off the trailer and rolled down the road or what, but it looks to me like it was driven up on boulders. So anyway, plan is pull the engine, strip it right down, swap it out with another hull, put it all back together again. So that's gonna be a little bit bigger project, but what the heck. So anyway, I had a guy uh, email me and wanted to see if I had a video of pulling the uh, engine out, which I didn't record the last time. So I'm gonna do that on this one so we can see the process that I go through. Uh, so get camera set up and a good angle and away we go. So the first thing I want to do is just label where all the pipes go, you know, rave valves and uh, fuel lines. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, can't go anywhere. Uh, water line to the exhaust. There's pipes and hoses everywhere in this thing. So you just put a quick label on them. Maybe you'll remember what you meant when you labeled it, but that's what I do. So I'm going to do that and I'll uh, bring you back once it's all labeled. It's kind of a tedious thing to do. So I'm just gonna pull. I've labeled the ray valve pipe, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> excuse me pull these out. So and the guy already had them unscrewed. Everybody always likes to take the thing apart and then give it to you in pieces. injection out of our way next so we got to take this off I have dropped these 
into the bilge a few times and that sucks. I'm gonna pull that hose off, it hopefully isn't pressurized, but you never know. Nope, we're all good. I'm gonna zip tie that up high because sometimes fuel runs out. another pipe on the other side over there that uh, goes down to the top of the compressor. So we're going to take that off and I'm going to pull that. Get a label on there. everywhere they're sharp everything is sharp on these machines too so you have to be so careful there we go another plan let's put some tape over this I don't need stuff falling down in there probably not gonna stick either is it Turn line off before. Same deal. Okay. Jeez, uh, everything's zip tied on. Dirty fuel. 
rusty, dirty crap, so that's not good. That'll need a clean for sure. Okay, so we should label this guy. I've never pulled these ones out. Oh, same, beautiful. Put, label that. Lots of scratches and lots of grease and oil on yourself. And this one goes to mystery. I don't like that clip that he's got on there either. All right, let's get the exhaust out of the way. That's going to be a big help. Oh, more pipes. Exhaust top. And one more pipe down there I missed. is on with a eight number eight hex down there but I got to take off that nut there first Let's see what size that is 17 That's loose. Then we've got another one down here. We'll take the bolt off over here first. Smaller one. Why not? Fourteen. Thirteen. Thank you. 
that one. I gotta move this rubber boot to get to it. Hmm. Let's unbolt something else first. <laughs> The exhaust clamp. Hold it. Thirteen mil. Can't get in there with that. Mm-hmm. She's in there. That's going to take a while. I think the best bet, I gotta move this. I wanted to move this grommet to get that bolt out. I'm gonna have to disconnect the throttle body, if that's what you call this thing. Uh, which is two clamps. there. I'll turn that clamp around the other way so I can get at it way easier. All right. There we go. Now that's loose. And the grommet is still on there. How can that be? I'm sure that popped off. Doesn't seem to want it. Hmm. I don't know where they come up with these ideas for building. Can't get that in there. I guess we're doing this. a gentle pry. Must be missing one somewhere. I don't think there's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
what do we see? One friggin' It's the handiest thing ever, just hang a mirror with the wire. See that nut now. It's got to be there somewhere. I saw it and lost it. Oh, yeah, there she is. Change of plan. I'm getting this out of the way. Ridiculous to fight all this stuff. having challenges so I'm gonna get everything out of the way I can. So let's do this side too. Air box out of the way would be awesome. You can't move the thing. Let me show you where that nut is. So it's right in there. I'm guessing you can see it. I just got to work on it, figure out a way of getting it out. Once I figure out the size and everything, then I'll bring you back. Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot. I had this wrench for the exhaust for the exact reason. And look at how easy that is. <laughs> like, oh my God. And there's a slot in the exhaust too to uh, just lift it out. So anyway, you gotta get yourself one of these wrenches. They're super cheap. Makes life way easier, believe me. All right. So now we'll lift Maybe. Oh, there's gonna be a water pipe connected on the bottom of this exhaust pipe too. And the clamp is facing 
in the wrong direction. I'll show you where that is. Right down there. Trying to get uh, your lighting just right too is a bit of a challenge in these things. As soon as I put the screwdriver there, okay. Now we got some playroom. What a bugger that was to get that clamp out of there. And look, more pipes. Okay. Now we'll get the air box out. Maybe. Magneto. Tuck that to the side. We got lots of stuff left here. <laughs> oil lines, and that's going to make a mess. So you got to pump out the oil tank for sure, and that thing is full. So I'm going to pump that out. We're getting there. We could pull that exhaust out of there too if we wanted to. That's pretty simple. It's just like a... Oh, there is a bolt back there. Just impossible to get wrenches on. Okay. You'll see there's a clamp right there. That's got to come off. And so that's on a weird angle. So let me get that one off. or what that is, forget. Anyway, we'll label her up.
take that off. Wow. She's on there. But not anymore. All right. So, we gotta drain that oil. That goes, because that's gonna make a mess everywhere. Even when you pinch it with the pliers and everything, it still leaks. And then, there's gonna be one more line on the bottom of that compressor once we lift it up. But we're almost there. Uh, throttle body off while we're here. Another thing out of the way. Oh, more zip ties. And the throttle position sensor. That's off that side. Same deal on this side. We got an oil cable and throttle cable. Oh, and two more pipes. There we go. Hopefully, you can see all that down there. Ten mil. Jeez, just trying to get a wrench on stuff in here. And so the throttle is the one on the rear, and the oil is the one on the front. And that 
Adjust the throttle and the oil injection. All these little broken off bits in here. Okay. Now two pipes. Half seem to be imperial. Okay. zip ties. And then we got to unbolt the starter too. Well, here we go. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna crimp it off the oil line. Yeah, I'll cut it back to there. That doesn't even look like they got the right oil in it either. get on and off. And they're razor sharp.
Okay, so there's gonna be another water hose that bolts to the bottom of the engine and another pipe on the bottom of the compressor. But we're gonna to have to lift this thing up a bit to get to them, so let's loosen off a couple of, there's three engine mount bolts. And they are not 14s, they are 13s. That one's a 13, 13, 13. Okay. And an extension. Pretty loose in there now, I would bet. Yep. Okay. Let me reset here and uh, maybe we'll lift her up a bit. Almost forgot to record this. I just ran a rope underneath the bottom for the front for now to try and loosen things up from the shaft. Got to lift the front up to clear the engine mount. Doesn't seem to want to come off. The other one I did didn't you didn't have to. I'm not gonna wrestle with it. Let's pull the drive. And that is a ten mil. Tap maybe. And a voila. That is out.
tug out of there. tension on this. Try pulling the shaft out the back enough to get it to come out of the engine. Okay. three more. So let me get those off and then we'll move on to the next. Another wire, ground wire on the bottom. Fifteen, looks like a seventeen. here so I see these guys were animals okay uh... zip tie That's 
song with that Oda Kerr. tougher to get off. I'm gonna just snip this and then we will get back to it. All right, so that is the compressor. There's a cigarette lighter and a paintbrush glued into the bottom of this thing. That's ridiculous. Okay. That's her. That's the removal. Might do a tear down on this one too, just to see what was going on. Uh, that gasket's in upside down and backwards. I have everything, they were tinkering. So that's it, that's the removal. We'll see what we're gonna do with this hull, but I think it's gonna be a, I mean, I got a collection of everything glued into the bottom. They really toasted it. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.